In this video, we will be discussing the traffic offense relating to the BC Motor Vehicle Act, Section 155, Subsection 1, Clause B, Subclause 2, also known as crossing the solid broken line. That's coming right up. Hi, my name is Shyan, and I'm one of the driving instructors here at Zula Driving School. So let's take a look at what the Motor Vehicle Act states. It reads, despite anything in this part, if a highway is marked with a double line consisting of a broken line and a solid line, the driver of a vehicle proceeding along the highway on the side of the solid line must drive the vehicle to the right of the double line except when finishing the passing of an overtaken vehicle. So what does this mean in layman's terms? Well, if you see a solid line beside a broken solid line, you need to stay on your side of the road unless you're overtaking another vehicle but need to get back to your side as soon as possible. Here's what I mean. If you're driving on the road and let's say you've got a double solid line and then it becomes a broken solid line like so. If you're driving on this side of the road and you want to, let's say this is only a single lane here, you want to pass this vehicle, you would have to wait until you're at this broken solid line. Then you can essentially go over to the other side if there are no cars approaching. And then once you've passed this vehicle, you will get back to your side of the road. But if you are, let's say, traveling this way and you've got the solid line on your side and the broken line is on the other side, you can't pass another vehicle that's in front of you because this line is essentially telling you right now you can't cross from this side over to this side of the road. But these guys, if it was clear on this side, could go over to the other side. Failure to abide by this section of the Motor Vehicle Act can land you a $109 ticket with three driver penalty points. This is only valid at the time of making this video, so the fine and points can increase in the future without notice. For the most up-to-date information, be sure to visit ICBC's website as well as the BC Motor Vehicle Act. If you have any questions or would like to receive driving lessons to improve your driving skills, be sure to check out our website at www.zula.ca. Thank you and until next time, remember that having a cooperative attitude on the road goes a long way in keeping everybody safe on the roads we share.